Welcome to a travel album and notebook set tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to take one of our Graphic 45 travel journals and turn it into a tropical masterpiece. I'm Shari Philomahala, one of the creative developers here at Graphic 45, and I'm excited for you to learn how to decorate your notebooks as well as the cover, but we're also gonna be creating some fun embellishments such as these cute little paper clips, some of our DIY file folders, and you'll be learning how to create some interactive elements as well. This is all a part of our Club G45, and this is volume eight for 2019. Both this travel journal and the one-page mini album tutorial have been brought to us this month by Robin Shakur. And if you are not yet a member of Club G45, it's easy to subscribe. All you need to do is hop on over to g45papers.com and you can subscribe there or you can check out our store locator to find a local G45 retailer near you. Also in the description below, you can find a printable link for the project sheet where you can learn how to create these step-by-step -step with the project sheet as well as the video. So. Let's go ahead and jump into learning how to create these travel albums. Travel album and notebook set. We are gonna make our own super cute little paper clips. And we're just gonna be using some stickers as well as um, just an inch and a half of our yellow patterns and salt sticker sheet i have picked up this fun little decorative frame with the two birds the square and the circle and now just with some fine tip scissors i am going to loosely fussy cut around these leaving about an eighth of an inch of the yellow the solid yellow showing for the square, it'll be a little bit easier. I'm just gonna do some nice straight cuts, leaving a nice solid yellow border. That'll really make our paper clips jump out. And then last, we'll do this fun little decorative piece. And for a handy tip, if you have a one inch circle punch, it's the perfect size for this sticker so you can always mat it on the yellow and then punch it out. I'm also gonna use this one inch circle punch, but you could use a half an inch circle or you could just create some little half inch squares as well. And this is how we are gonna be matting our paper clips on here. They'll be our back. To create these paper clips, I'm just gonna flip over our decorative images, making sure that I keep them right side up. And using some nice liquid adhesive, we are going to be adhering down our paper clips with the double loops towards the bottom. And I'm just gonna center these. So I'm just gonna take my liquid adhesive and put a nice dollop on the paper as well as the paper clip. And I'll take our half inch circles that we already punched out. And since we're doing st stripes on this side, I'll have the stripes up on my half inch circle. And that's just gonna go on the back, just keeping this nice just like so. And if you need to add a little extra adhesive onto the sides, you can go ahead and do so. And then we'll just leave those to dry on the side. Step two, we are gonna work on the inside of our cover of our travel album. So this is a great time to take out your notebooks from your travel album. So just finding the elastic inside each 
notebook, you can slide those out. And you can just place those notebooks to the side and then we're gonna grab the uh, belly band from the inside and we can just pull this through and we'll set this to the side for now as well. And then we are gonna take our yellow striped paper and we are gonna cut this to be four and a quarter by six and a quarter and we need two of those. Taking two four by six parrot ephemera cards, we are gonna match one of those parrot side up onto our stripes, and then the other one we'll flip over and then just mat those right in the center. Now that these have been adhered, I am going to round the corner of my ephemera with the parrot side up, just on the top left hand corner, like so, and then with my journaling side up, I'm going to do it on the top right hand corner. And then these you can see are going to go like so, which is why those corners have been rounded. Now we can go ahead and start to slide this into our pocket and I've added my adhesive on the back already. And then once I find my perfect placement where it's about an eighth of an inch of the craft, exposed onto the left and the top hand side. I can take my bone folder and burnish that down. Now with this piece, we want to slide it in here, but we don't want adhesive on the back when we do so just yet. And then once we find our perfect placement, because we have this hole on the back side, then we can take a pen or a pencil and mark where we need to punch our hole. And then taking uh, the largest hole on the crocodile, I'm gonna go ahead and punch that and see if it's gonna be big enough. I'm gonna do just slightly bigger punch up on the top and bottom, just cutting out just a tiny bit more, making it, making our hole just the perfect size for our elastic to go back through. So once you've done that, now we can add our adhesive and adhere this down. Here we have two pieces of our red floral paper that have been cut to four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And on one of these, I'm gonna use my uh, corner chomper or your, and we are gonna round the bottom left on one and then the bottom right on the other, like so. And then we are gonna add some notches that match up with these pockets here. And we can do that two ways. Um, First, either way, you're gonna to want to put this in your pocket and trace it where you have about an eighth of an inch of the craft sticking out and you wanna make sure that's straight. And then just taking a pencil, we're gonna go ahead and trace that mark. Once you've done that, you can take your scissors and cut that out or you can always take your one and a half inch circle punch if you have one and punch it out like so and then it will fit perfectly there but if you want to do it the other way with scissors we go ahead and put this in here and trace and then because that was on the inside. We want to be able, when we're cutting this out, you want to give it about an eighth of an inch on the outer side of the marking. So just slowly giving that a nice curve. So then we will adhere one of these on the left and one on the right. And then apply your adhesive in an L shape so we can double up our pocket space, making ample room for all your pamphlets and brochures from your travels or your 
notes or to-do lists if you're using this as a more of a daily planner. And then once we've done that, we can just find our sweet spot and adhere them both down. We're gonna take the Hello Sunshine uh, four by three ephemera cards and then also the white cockatoo and we're going to add our adhesive in the same u-shape pattern and adhere these on top of our red floral now it is time to stuff our pockets so we're taking this six by four pink parrot ephemera card and we've simply just folded it in half now it's the perfect size to fit into our hello sunshine pocket in our front cover and then taking a four by six toucan card. We're gonna have the postcard journaling side up on this one and then just put it into our largest pocket. And on the back, got Just Live. It's gonna tuck into our small pocket and then don't worry, be happy. The super cute pineapple is gonna go in the large. Three, we are gonna be creating our front cover. And our first thing that we wanna do here is cut two pieces from the green floral to be four and a half by eight and a half. One of these pieces we are going to set to the side for now because it will be used on our back. And we are just gonna focus on our front cover. Sorry, I bumped you. So the first thing we wanna do here is we're gonna be rounding our, our right corners. So just chomp those corners and then adhere to the cover and smooth out any air bubbles. From a red floral paper, we are gonna cut this to be four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and then just round all four of those corners. And then taking the toucan ephemera card that's four by six, adding some adhesive to the back of that, we are going to then just simply mat our ephemera onto our red rectangle and then get out any air pockets. This is a great time to, to add your own special touches to your album. So if you wanna add a photo from one of your trips, you can't always just measure inside of this cute little border and then add your own photo there and then add that onto the cover but don't adhere this just yet because first we're gonna add our own little embellishments. So we're gonna be cutting some V notches just out of the bottom of some yellow strips that we cut out. We're gonna cut out three of these yellow strips and they are gonna be one inch by three inches. And we've got our stripes vertically going. And so at this point, now that we have created all three of our little banner pieces, we're gonna just take a ruler and measure one inch from the bottom of our toucan mat. So, measure one inch from the bottom of our toucan mat and we'll just draw a nice line like so. And now we'll know exactly where we want to adhere our pieces. So we want our stripes to be forward facing when we have this all glued down. So right now we've got the yellow facing us and then just find your perfect placement like so and then add adhesive. And now we can add this to our front cover. So taking a one and a quarter inch punch, we're gonna punch out three blue circles. It has the typography on one side, and then we'll do three red floral circles out of a one inch circle punch. And of course, if you don't have any circle punches at home, you can always, uh, you could do squares in staggering sizes. So you could do a one and a quarter inch square with a one inch square, or you could always use stickers, or you can trace uh, circular items that you have at home that are similar size and then cut those out. Once you've got your three red circles and your three blue circles, we are just going to adhere them on top of one another. 
step four, the back cover, we are gonna take our remaining piece that we cut down to four and a half by eight and a half of the green, and I've rounded my corners on the left-hand side here. And then before we adhere this down, we want to be able to punch out where this hole goes. So take my goodies out of my pocket. So once I have found where I want that to go, I've flipped it over. And then now taking a pencil or a pen, we're gonna mark where we want our hole to be punched. And then using a hole punch, crocodile, we are going to punch that out. And then we want it to just be slightly larger, so I'm gonna kinda just go around the edge, just making my circle slightly larger to fit our grommet on the outside. So, kind of see how this works. And it looks like I'm just gonna need to cut just a little bit more to fit around there. And then once we have it pretty close, then you can kind of take your fingernail or a bone folder and burnish around the edges once you get your adhesive on there. we are going to be doing the spine. So we've cut our yellow striped paper with our stripes going vertically to one and a half by seven and a quarter. And this is just going to go perfectly in the middle on our spine. From our stickers, we're taking this cute little parrot tag sticker and it's going to just go right in the center. Of our spine towards the top. So just making sure it lays down straight and we can adhere that down. This is the belly band cover. So I'm just taking that elastic we took out earlier and I'm gonna just put it back where we found it. So the loop is on the outside and on the inside we have this little knot. And then now we can tuck our ephemeras back where they belong like so and then we'll put our belly band around our album so we're going to take the red pattern paper and you can either do how it says in the directions where it says to cut two pieces to be four and a half by two and a half or i've just cut mine to be four and a half by five and then i've folded it in half and now we're going to take from our sticker sheet paradise is not a place it's a state of mind Sticker. So it is a, a sticker with a frame in there. So we are going to just do one piece at a time and then this is going to adhere onto our red piece. This is going to act as our mat, giving it some extra stability. And now I can take my sentiment that goes inside. Oops, got a little sticky. Okay, so now we're gonna just put this back where it belongs in its frame. Like so. And then I am going to cut around, just doing some fussy cutting, leaving about an eighth of an inch of that red showing. And since I've folded my paper in half, I should be cutting out two pieces at once, which is exactly what I want. This is gonna be going on that belly band that we just put back into our travel album. And we're gonna put it right on the elastic. So, gives us some extra something to pull on when we're moving our elastic around. And then it's a really fun way to add 
a sentiment onto our cover. Always trying to bring you some fun new techniques. Once we've got this sticker all cut out, you'll see I've got one here with that nice red frame, and then we've got another one that's identical, perfect for our belly band. Now I've used some nice deluxe double-sided tape to the bottom piece so you can see my top piece that has the sticker and sentiment is there and it does not have any adhesive on there but I'm matching this perfectly since this is how they were cut to be identical and then now I am going to slip my belly band over my piece that we cut out. And now I can take our, our sentiment and now we can just start to slowly adhere it to match it perfectly to our other piece. So we have the nice heavy duty adhesive on the top and bottom. So now this can slide off and you'll see that our sentiment piece is still there. And then when it slides back on, you can move it around to be exactly where you want it to be on your album. Step seven, we are going to be cutting our notebook covers. And so we want them to all be cut to four by eight inches. And we're gonna do two of the red floral two of the yellow typography and two of the blue typography. Then we're gonna cut three strips that are gonna be one inch by eight inches from the green floral. And then each of our notebook covers will get one of those strips. And then we're gonna cut three pieces that are gonna be three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And we'll have two of the red floral and one of the yellow stripe. Then we are gonna cut six pieces to be four inches by eight inches. And we're gonna have two of the red pattern. That's a small little floral ditzy pattern and then we'll have two of the yellow topography and two of the blue stripe. So now grabbing one of our notebooks we are going to start to trace the inside of our pockets on our journals or our notebook sets. So all three of the notebook sets have the same style of pockets on the inside, these nice diagonal pockets. So what we're gonna do is we're going to trace on the solid side because we want our pattern side up. So we're going to trace one in the front and I wanna make sure that the top and bottom are about even where there's about a, just a bit of more than an eighth of an inch from either side and then make sure it's nice and straight and then I can go ahead and take my pencil and trace my on the solid on the front inside cover and then I will do the same with my other red piece solid side up on the back inside cover so making sure that everything is looking nice and straight and even from the top and bottom now I can go ahead and trace around that diagonal pocket like so. And then we will cut these pieces out and when we do on the reverse side, this will be my front piece and my front that I trace will be my back piece. And you can see we've already done this with the yellow and the blue. So you will just do the same with all six pieces. So you'll trace one on the solid front side and one on the solid back inside cover. And then you'll just swap those and then you'll see in our upcoming steps how we start to adhere all of our pieces together. And then when you're cutting this out, I just go on the inside of my traced line. So just slightly on the inside of 
our traced line with some nice fine tip scissors. Just cut all six of our pieces out. Step eight, notebook one. We are gonna take our graph lined paper notebook and then we're going to add our red floral onto the cover and back cover of our notebook. So the easiest way to adhere is just to find the center of your notebooks where the staples are and then you can lay it down flat. And now I know I can have it all lined up. And then also, of course, with the rounded edges, I have just used my corner chomper to ch make those nice and identical to my notebook. You can keep them straight if you want some nice pointy corners to keep it easier. But then the nice thing about also adhering it down while it's flat open like this is that I can see that everything is matching up nicely. And then work out those ear pockets. We'll add our green strip to the front and center cover. Now taking our three by four black parrot ephemera card, we are going to adhere this to our yellow piece that we cut earlier. That's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I have rounded my yellow matte corners already. And of course you can skip that step if you want. We're going to adhere this to the center of our notebook cover. For the inside uh, front cover, we are going to now take the red little ditzy floral print that we cut out, and that's going to be just behind this pocket here. So I just want it just a little bit on the inside and a little bit in hidden by our pocket. That way you won't be able to see any craft. And then I have rounded my top left hand corner on there. So it matches this corner here. And then we are gonna do the same here. So I've rounded the bottom left hand corner of our yellow typography piece. And then this is going to adhere onto our pocket like so. And our back cover, we will do the same, but the opposite. So my yellow will be on the top and then my red will be on the file folder. And we'll, but this is the album I use to trace. So I'm just gonna go over anywhere where I traced with my pencil and erase my pencil markings, like so. And then adhere. For page one of our first notebook, we are gonna take our black washi and I'm just gonna put it on the, halfway on my ruler. And this is gonna be cut to seven and a quarter inches. So once I find seven and a quarter, I can cut there. And then I'm gonna cut my ends on a bit of a 45 degree angle, both going inward. And then I'll do the same here. And I can throw away my excess. And then this piece that we've cut is just going to go just about a quarter of an inch from the left hand side and about centered and then we can adhere this down. 
And then from our sticker sheet on the borders, we are gonna take the orange scallop and the paradise is a state of mind. And we are going to trim off eight inches of that. So I just took my ruler and marked where that eight inch line is on those. So when I get to my spot where I've marked, I can now trim. And then these two stickers, the scallop's gonna be facing towards the inside and they're gonna go right in the center of our black washi. And I'm just gonna do one at a time to keep it nice and easy. So I've got my scallops down and now I'll line up Paradise is a state of mind border. Perfect. Now we're going to open up these keepsake envelopes and we're going to take out one of the larger pockets in there and we are going to adhere this on to the bottom right hand side of our first page. And then this, we want our opening. You can see the opening is here where the little white tab and the triangular envelope goes. So that is gonna go in the bottom right-hand corner like so. It'll be overlapping some of our washi and stickers. And then we can take an ephemera card, but you could also leave this open for when you are doing your travels to stick in any of your keepsakes that you may find or add some photos in here. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and close this up like so, but you can see this can be opened and closed over and over. So you can add all of your special goodies inside of here. And for the final touch for our first page, we are gonna take this Don't Worry Be Happy sticker. And you can see it is quite intricate with all of its beautiful little die details. So you wanna be careful when you're pulling that out that you're capturing all the details without tearing anything. And then we are going to just adhere this onto our page. And just nice and easy take it slow with those details so you can really capture all of its beauty for page two we're going to add an eight inch strip of washi onto the left hand page and i'm going to do this about a quarter of an inch from the side and about a half an inch from the top and bottom and then from the sticker sheet, I'm gonna take these white cockatoos and these are just gonna go right up here towards the top. These are just some fun examples of what you can do with your travel notebooks. So of course, if you wanna keep it open for the time being to add as you go, you can certainly do that. Or you can just do what we're doing. We're just going to decorate two pages in each notebook to kind of give you a taste of some fun techniques. So now we are gonna be creating a fun little flip card. So I'm taking our Welcome to the Jungle ephemera card that's a, a four by three, and then a three inch piece of that black washi tape. And I have half of it on my Welcome to the Jungle ephemera and the other half off. And then I'm gonna nicely put this right in the center of my album. Like so, so it will fold close nicely. And then this can flip open back and forth. And then I can take another piece of three inch washi and put it on 
the reverse side. Now you can see I've created a cute little flip back and I'm just gonna trim off this excess washi where any of it's sticky. From our Paradise is a State of Mind sticker, we're just gonna take our leftovers from what we used on the last spread and then just put that halfway right in the center there and then we'll flip this over. Also from our sticker sheet, we are gonna take this Just Live Yellow Scallop border and place this right over the center of our black washi. So these little scraps are coming together beautifully. The decoration on this two page spread is taking this beautiful pineapple sticker to the nice little scallop doily edge. And I just wanna make sure I get all my little doily pieces out so you can see that beautiful detail. So I'm just using my finger to make sure each of those pieces are coming out where they're supposed to be. Now we're gonna take this pineapple sticker and we're gonna put half of it on this side, like so, and then we'll wrap the second half on the other side of the page. So just folding over that page and making sure I'm not rolling anything over or getting too many pages. Just folded that nicely and now you can see how this page has really come together. And our last step for notebook number one is to take this four by six ephemera and just put it in our front cover pocket. It's a great space to add a list, maybe your top 12 things that you did this summer or anything you can think of. Notebook number two, we are grabbing our lined notebook and our yellow typography papers that we have cut to four by eight inches and just making sure that these are going to be the right direction. We can find the center of our notebook and then open it up. And then you can see we want our words to be right side up. So. I've placed them accordingly and then I've rounded my corners on the right on the top front cover, the top right and the bottom right, and then on the back cover, they're gonna be on the top left and bottom left, like so. And then adhere those down. Then on our front cover, we're gonna take our green strip and adhere this down to the front center. A red mat that's been cut to three and a quarter by four and a quarter. We have rounded all four of those corners. And then now we're gonna add this scenic root three by four ephemera. But you know, if you do ever wanna add the journaling side onto their front cover, that'd be a great way for you to write maybe that this booklet is for your notes or your journaling space. So you can identify which is which or you could always add a photo on top of this photo mat. Just adding, you know, another layer where you'd put maybe a photo right here would be super cute. And then this is going to go onto the front cover right in the center of our second notebook. So now we're on the inside of our lined notebook, number two, and we are going to start to round our corners of our inside pieces. So I'm going to have on the front cover, the yellow in the top and the blue on the bottom pocket. So I need to round this top left corner and the bottom left corner of my blue stripe and then on the back I need to round my bottom right hand corner and then round this top right stripe and then we can just adhere like we did with notebook number one. Now using a red piece of scrap paper we are going to add our toucan sticker 
here and then we're gonna cut this out leaving a nice little matted border. If you have any decorative scissors, this would be a great time to use them. Just add that extra little pizzazz with a scallop or some pinking shears. But I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. Gonna go back in now that I don't have to work with that big hunk of paper and trim around, giving us a nice little red border. going to adhere this to our pocket and it's going to be in the center of our pocket spread on the front inside so now you just kind of want to determine where our adhesive needs to be so it needs to be down here but I want to make sure that I don't get any up here so once you've determined that then we can add our adhesive Just keeping in mind, we don't want to glue our pocket shut. So just like so. Now you can see it still works fabulously. And then from our sticker sheet, we're going to take this floral border with a black background. And we are going to trim to fit this to our little file folder about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. And then I will just trim off any excess so we're going to take seven inches of washi tape and then using a paper trimmer you can just cut that right in half and then from there we are going to cut one piece to be two and a quarter inches two and three quarters inches and then two inches and these are going to be some fun little decorative strips that we are going to add on to our page one. Take that piece that has been cut to two and a quarter inches and then just cut on a diagonal and then this will adhere to the top of our page just about a quarter of an inch down. Making sure to work out any wrinkles. And then we'll take our next piece which is two and three quarters and then this is just going to be trimmed at the same angle and then this will go underneath here just giving it about an eighth of an inch of room like so and then last we are going to take our two inch strip and then we are going to angle this with our point at the top. And then this is gonna go from about a half an inch from the bottom. So next we are gonna take this black floral border strip and we are gonna place it just about the same placement between these two washi tape, about a fourth of an inch, and it's just going to go all the way the length of the page, the width of the page, and then once we get to the end, we can just trim to fit. And then we will grab our Paradise sticker, and this is just going to go just right off the top of our top washi about a little less than a half an inch from the left hand side. Now grabbing two of those small keepsake envelopes we are going to just adhere these down on the right hand side just above our small little two inch washi strip and then 
close up our flap. And then these are great spaces to add in some keepsakes, some photos from your summer or your travels. And these just reseal and seal right up. Moving on to page two of notebook number two, we are gonna grab this cute little dainty floral border and it's gonna be a half an inch from the left hand side of our page and we're just gonna bring it all the way flush with the bottom and then bring it straight up like so grab that circular parrot with the nice little scallops and this we are going to just adhere just at the top, kind of like a little flower or lollipop. Next, we are gonna create another flip element with this four by six ephemera. The live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. And so just taking about three inches, give or take of our black glossy washi tape. We're just gonna put half of it on the front side of our ephemera. And then this we are going to adhere in the center of our page number two, and then about a fourth of an inch from the top. And then just burnish that down, and then we'll flip that up, and then take another approximately three inches of that washi tape, and then we'll do the same on the flip side just adhere that nice in the center, burnish it down, and voila! We have created a fabulous, fun flip page. Page three, we're gonna keep it super simple. We're gonna take the yellow typography page and we have cut this down to be uh, four inches by one inch. And then from the left-hand side, making sure my words are right side up, I'm gonna just notch out a V on there. So giving it that cute little banner look we love this technique and then we are just going to adhere this down about an inch from the bottom all the way flush to the right follow that up with this scenic root tag from our sticker page and this is just going to go about a fourth of an inch from the right hand side and a fourth of an inch from the bottom and our page three is complete. To finish off notebook number two, we are gonna slide in this four by six beautiful ephemera card. And you can see we have created the beginnings of a beautiful travel journal. We're on to notebook number three, and we are just cruising on through this journal. And this one is with the nice our ivory uh, watercolor papers. And now that we've been, we've done two of these. We've gotten the hang of it, so we've rounded our two front cover right corners in the top and bottom. And then adhere your back cover, rounding your top and bottom left hand corners, making sure that your words are upright. And then taking our final green strip we are going to adhere that down to the front center of our cover. And then grab your pink flamingos ephemera that's a three by four. And we're going to adhere this onto our red floral mat that we cut down earlier to three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then adhere this front and center. So now we're working on our inside pocket pages and I've got the pink floral down on the pocket where the bottom left-hand corner has been rounded. And then my blue floral, my top left-hand corner has been rounded. I just love how these pages look together. It's such a fun way to decorate the inside and then have it really stand out. And then on the back inside cover on our pocket pages, we are just gonna do the reverse. Have the blue on our pocket and the red floral in the background. 
Now we're moving on to page one. We're taking a strip, a vertical strip of our red floral paper, and we are cutting this to uh, three quarters of an inch by six inches. And then off the bottom, I'm just gonna do a nice 45 degree angle. And then this will be adhered three quarters of an inch from the left-hand side of our first page. Now taking a piece of the blue topography that we have cut down to one inch by five inches of the vertical strip, our words right side up, we're gonna do the same thing, cut on an angle, and then this time we're going to adhere it halfway down on top of our red floral. And now we're gonna do a bit of beginner's fussy cutting with our ephemera card that says, this is my happy place. This is a four by three ephemera card and we are gonna be cutting along the yellow border of the inside frame, but we do wanna keep our pineapple and our pineapple leaves intact. So it'll just give us some extra bit of flair added onto our notebook page. And of course, if you are new to Graphic 45, fussy cutting is one of our favorite things to do with our paper collections. You can create so many of your own embellishments and layers and things just by pulling out some of the images from, you know, our ephemera cards like we're doing now, or even using some of our more busy signature papers. And it's great if you're working with both an 8x8 and a 12x12 paper pad, because then you can get a variety of sizes. So you can have blossoms of all different sizes, which always makes it really fun when you're adding those layers. So now just going along that golden yellow border. And we'll start to get those intricate details again once we get into our pineapple top. I'm just gonna trim off that so I don't have to be working with that big piece. And then slide the paper through my scissors. And the great part about fussy cutting is that it can be so relaxing. And the more you do it, the more, the faster you'll get at it, the more relaxing it'll be, and the more embellishments you'll have stocked up for your next project. I know a lot of our brand ambassadors, when they get a new collection in, the first thing they do is just take out those fine tip scissors and start fussy cutting until they get some inspiration on what they want to create. And of course, you're going to want to check out all their projects. You can find them on our blog at g45papers.com. And you can also find a daily inspiration on our Instagram and our Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on all the sites. So we're just cutting around our pineapple piece like so. And now using just about an inch and a half of washi tape, I am gonna put this on the side, trying not to get our fussy cuts. Put that on the side and then we can go ahead and tape this into our book, making sure everything is going to open and close just right. So you know what's gonna be even better is to cut a bit of this tape off. Let's make it thinner. So I'm just cutting off about a fourth of an inch. And now when I tape this in, it'll be perfect. So now you can open that up back and forth. And now just taking that strip I just cut off, I'm going to Apply that to the back and make sure it's nice and burnished onto both the notebook and our ephemera piece. And now we've got a nice and sturdy little flip page. All right, so now we're gonna move on to page three. 
So we're gonna leave two as is. And then three, we have taken a green piece of paper and this beautiful florally green with these nice leaves in the background. And we've cut it down to three inches by seven inches. And then we've taken uh, just about three and a quarter inches of our washi tape. And I'm just gonna angle this to be, it's gonna help with its movement. So just trimming it on a nice angle so the outside edge is larger than the inside edge. Like so. And now I'm gonna put that halfway onto my green floral piece and then I will just find a perfect balance. It's about a half an inch from, about an inch from the top of the page and about a half inch from everywhere else. And then once I find the right placement, just burnish that down. You can use your bone folder or your finger. And then you're using the remaining bit of our orange scallop. I am gonna put this just right at the top of our washi, nice and flush right in the center. All right, and then we are gonna flip this up. And it doesn't say to do this in the directions, but I'm gonna do it just for added security. I'm gonna add a three inch strip of our washi halfway on our green and halfway onto our watercolor sheet. That way, when you're flipping that up and down, it's not gonna go anywhere. And from our sticker sheet, I'm gonna take this pink flamingo, flamingo, and then just adhere it right, right underneath the fold of our page. So when it flips up and down, it won't be disturbed at all. And then you can see a bit of the pink coming out of the top. Next, we are gonna add another flip element to this page. So just taking about two inches of washi, I have angled it again, just like I did with our last piece. And I'm going to put this over just about a fourth of an inch. I don't want to go over any of the wording. And you know, I think I'm also gonna just trim this up. So cutting off about a fourth of an inch, making this washi a little thinner than now at this point. I'm gonna go in and about halfway down from my page, we can adhere this onto our ivory sheet. So next we are taking our four by three uh, cockatoo ephemera and we are just gonna cut off this light green border that goes all the way around. It's about an eighth of an inch. So just go ahead and you can use your paper trimmer or your fine tip scissors, but let's just cut it out. So once we've got our cockatoos cut out like this, I'm gonna take about a two inch strip or so of our black washi and put it just towards the middle. And then I've also cut the washi about in half so it's not as bulky. And then now I am going to just find the center of my page and then making sure that my ephemera will not be going off the side, the right side of my notebook and that my washi won't be obstructing my page being able to turn. Once I have found that nice spot, just taking that leftover piece from the washi that we cut in half from the two inches, going to adhere that down and voila, we've got a double flip stack page. And the last thing we're gonna do for notebook three is taking this four by six flamingo ephemera and just stuffing it perfectly in our cute little pocket. And we're all done with notebook three. Step 11, the file folders. We're gonna cut three pieces to six and a quarter by nine inches. And we are gonna do one with the green pattern, the blue stripes and the red floral. Once you've cut those out, 
Then you are going to cut out this file folder template that is inside your patterns and solids 12 by 12. So just open this up and you can see on the back page of our cover, there's a lot of fun little templates on here. There's a gift tag, a, a gift pocket that the tag fits perfectly inside, the ATC card and a bookmark as well as the file folder. And once you cut these out, you know, can use them as is because you can see it's got a beautiful glossy design on the back or you can use them as templates to use over and over again with all your crafting. So next we are going to trace out this template on the reverse side, the solid side of your three pieces we cut out of the green, red, and blue. So just grabbing those fine tip scissors we can start to follow along and trim these out. And let's just round up these corners with our corner rounder, making it look extra sharp where we can. And then once you cut all three of those out, then you will just Go ahead and line those up and then crease so you have a beautiful file folder that looks like this. Now that you've cut out your file folders, we're just going to add some easy decoration. So I'm going to add a, a six by four, don't worry, be happy ephemera to the inside of my red file folder. And if you want, you can just adhere all down as is, but I have um, put my adhesive in a U shape, leaving it unadhered over to uh, the left hand side. And then we're just gonna center this down. And then once we are gonna be putting these into our travel journal and they will be vertical like this. so. Since I left that unadhered right there, I can use this as a, another pocket inside for extra photos or storage. And then onto the front of our file folder, we're taking one of these four by three ephemeras, Welcome to the Jungle. And I've done the adhesive in the same way and I'm gonna just center this up front of my red file folder and now I have another pocket there as well as well as the space for a photo or doing for some journaling and then you'll do the same with the blue just leaving a pocket if you wish and then the green as well so now it is time for the fun part we get to put it all together so we created this super adorable cover, and then we've got these elastic bands. And we've got our pockets already stuffed. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take our red notebook, and then just finding where our staples are, we are going to lift up our first elastic, and then just make sure that elastic hits in between these little notches on your notebook. And then we are gonna take our first file folder of the green one, and it is gonna go right in the center of our notebook. So now you can see our notebook number one has this cute little green file folder tab with that in the center. Next up, we're gonna take our yellow notebook, our lined notebook, and this, we're just gonna pick the elastic that doesn't have the knot in it, and do the exact same thing where we'll find our center and then taking the blue file folder that's going to slide right underneath that elastic and then we can always stagger these a bit so maybe move the green file folder up put our blue more towards the center and then we'll add our third ivory notebook find those staples and take our last the last elastic 
like so. And then our red file folder. And I'm just gonna have this be towards the bottom so that way our file tabs are a little bit staggered like so. And we've got everything all put together, ready for your photos and all your fun pieces from your journey to be added in. We wanna thank you for joining us for Collab G45. We hope you enjoyed this travel journal and we hope you reuse some of these techniques and when you do create this, share your projects with us online using that club g45 hashtag and be sure if you want to find more video tutorials like this that you subscribe and hit that notification bell and then be sure to follow our next one page mini album tutorial thank you and happy paper crafting